Almost a fifth of the world's population has no access to electricity, so have to use other means to heat and light their homes, which are often expensive, dangerous and unhealthy. Lamps filled with kerosene are the main source of light in households in the developing world, but living with one of these over the course of the day is the equivalent to smoking 40 cigarettes. Jim Reeves and his team think they have a solution. The, They've uh, designed a light that is powered by gravity and has no running um, costs. We were presented with the challenge of trying to develop a, a viable alternative to kerosene lanterns um, for a solar charity. And, and we came up with a solution of gravity light which uses a lifted weight um, in the same way sort of principle that's been used for, for generations to drive things like gra uh, grandfather clocks. Rather than the two or three minutes it takes to charge a wind-up light, to charge gravity light it takes just three seconds for 30 minutes of light. The user lifts the 10 kilogram bag, then a series of gears turn, powering a low-cost generator which turns the light on. No fuel is needed, just the effort of lifting the bag. It's hoped it will sell for under $10. It's been four and a half years in the making and gone through lots of iterations, but a thousand units are now being trialled in 26 countries. The purpose of the trial is partly to understand whether the solution meets people's needs as a, as a concept, but also to understand what kind of rigours and challenges that the, the system's going to have to withstand. One man who's managed to make a successful international business already is the founder of children's case company, Trunky. I asked him for his take on the light. I think it's a very interesting concept. I think the real key for all um, physical product that is going to sell and do well in developing markets is that they're able to be fixed by the local people. Um, so if it breaks, it can be serviced without overseas com components. We're very mindful of the fact that for the device to be really as long-lived as it could be, um, the idea of having serviceable parts is uh, almost essential. We're looking in the, in the medium term at either starting with um, some in-country assembly and ultimately perhaps in-country manufacture. Gravity Light has the potential to lift millions out of poverty but the next challenge is bringing it to scale to make it affordable for all.